Tade Nikao is a huge asset to Queen Naomi and also to Oni of Ife. But when it comes to a place, whereas they have to decide whether it is because of what is happening now. It is because of what is going on at this point. We all understand that people are around trying to make everybody happy. Trying to make Tade Nikao the star of the show. But the Oloris are all against it. The Oloris are planning something very huge. And it is going to see Tade Nikao and also see every single one of the Olori break all the chains. And make sure this boy isn't having the best time of his own life. We all know that things that are happening from the beginning. Things that are going on from the beginning. It is all because of what Oni has done. It is all because of how exactly they have seen it. But we all understand that if Oni is trying to make everybody happy, it is because of what he has done. It is because of how he has seen this matter. It's because of how he has done it. Because it is never going to be easy. It is never going to be easy for her. Yes, we understand that if Oni wants to try and do everything he can, to make sure that Tade Nikao is actually happy, then you should go ahead and do it. Because these Oloris are not willing and ready to make this thing slide by. So guys, good morning, good afternoon and good evening depending on when and where you are actually watching us from. This is Royal Updates TV where we'll bring you top cheese from the entertainment industry and also from the Oni of Ife Palace. Right now, Tade Nikao has been having nightmares and of course, he has been having nightmares that can see him, that can see a lot of things happen to him. We understand it has never been okay for Tade Nikao. Since Oni himself has decided to do what he can do, since Oni himself has decided that if at all he is ready to picture a life with Queen Naomi, he has to let some of his oloris down. He has to make sure that some of these oloris are not happy with what they are doing. Some of these oloris too will be busy thinking, what exactly does Oni have to do? Why is it that Oni is always supporting them? It is because of what he can do. It's because of how he can do it. And it's because of what he has already passed through to see himself in this situation. To see himself at the place where he finds it. We understand it has never been easy. Things have never gone well for Oni. Things have never occurred in the way Oni wanted it to occur. Well, it is because of Queen Naomi has tried to stop him right from the very beginning up until this moment. Because we all know that without the help of Oni, everybody has always wished, Oh, what can the Oloris do? What is it that the Oloris are even doing? What is the problem between the Oloris and Queen Naomi? Well, I will get to explain to you what the problem is. The problem between the Oloris and Queen Naomi is that they don't want to see anything good to happen in the life of somebody. And they want to make sure that stands. Because if Oni is trying to prove himself to everybody, he will also try to prove himself to his Oloris. And that alone is a whole lot of time wasting. Why will I say time wasting? Because the Oloris never get, seem to get what they want at the specific time. They all think it is because of what Owen is doing and how he's handling this situation. Everybody is always talking and discussing about how exactly it is going on. But when it comes to a part, whereas Owen has to decide, it is going to be a whole lot harder than you could ever even think of. It is going to be a whole lot harder than we could ever think of. So instead of wasting your time, instead of doing what is right, the Oloris themselves, they have got formed a group together that they will seem to harm Tade Nikau no matter what is happening. Tade Nikau himself is a precious being. He has never wronged any Olori. He doesn't even know what any Olori has done. What he's busy hearing about is how exactly he can help everybody around when he is actually prince and he has taken that thing upon himself no matter what the situation may be and he has tried to prove to everybody that he is not what he is 
is not what the Oloris may think it is. But Adi Ikaro doesn't have anything to prove to any Olori. He just has himself. And himself is to ensure that he's happy 100%. Even if the Oloris are not happy. Even if the Oloris don't like what is going. It is not that easy for everybody. It has never been easy to. But let the Oloris make this a whole lot simpler for the people around them. Because it is never going to be easy. It is never going to be easy for all. We all know that if they want to try and prove to everybody that it is because of people that are around her. It is because of people that is making it a whole lot bigger for them. Everybody has realized that if Tadeni Kao has something against this Oloris, which he can't. So there is no need for this Oloris to do anything to the boy. But the Oloris too, they have something to say. They are not even willing to show love and affection to the boy. Just because of what is happening right now. Just because of how this situation has become. Just because of what they have done in order to ensure peace. Which has never even happened. Which has never even gone well between these Oloris. It has never gone well between these Oloris. So they have one opportunity to make everything right. They have one opportunity to make sure that the people that are around her are actually people that will support her own motion to make sure that the Nika will see. But one thing is for, for sure. If the Oloris are willing to change, they will change no matter who it is. So let us not fool ourselves thinking the Oloris will change. Because if they don't want to, they won't. And nobody can stop them. So guys, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And don't forget to drop your comments down at the comment section. Goodbye all. And